All right. So ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with the recursive formula, remember what we talked about, the recursive tor or formula is dealing with previous values of your sequence. So we know that a sub 1 equals 3. All right. So what they're saying is a sub k plus 1 equals 2 times a sub k minus 1. So let's go ahead and say, let's go and plug in 1 in for our k. So therefore, we'd have a sub of 1 plus 1 equals 2 times a sub of 1 minus 1. Well, what that means then, if I put my a sub of 1 in for there, I'm now finding the value of a sub of 2 equals 2 times a sub of 1, we said, was 3 minus 1. Well, 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, a sub of 2 equals 4. So now we can say a sub of 1 equals 3 a sub 2 equals 4. So if I wanted to find the next value, I'm going to plug in 2 in for the k, right? If I want to find a sub 3, so I could say a sub 2 plus 1 equals 2 times a sub 2 minus 1. And what that's going to tell us now is to find a sub 3 equals 2 times a sub 2, which was 4, minus 1. Well, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So therefore, a sub 3 equals 6. And the question is actually asking us to find the first four terms. So we'll uh, now go ahead and find the last one. So if I wanted to plug in a sub 3, I'd do a sub 3 plus 1 equals 2 times a sub 3 minus 1. Well, we know a sub 3 is now equal to 6, so I'll replace that. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So we could say a sub 4 equals 10. Got it? So when you're dealing with the recursive formula, all we're doing is we're taking our previous term and then plugging it back into our sequence. OK? And there we go.